Hello everyone, today in our series of Talk Flex Scale interviews, we are honoured to have with us Dr. Arun Bal, who is a senior consultant and diabetic surgeon with over 36 years of clinical expertise. He specialises in endocrinology and diabetic foot and wound management. Dr. Arun has been practising as a general surgeon, socialising in diabetic foot since 1984. He is actively involved in academics and clinical research and is a teacher for MUHS for the Fellowship in Diabetic Foot. Dr. Arun is also the founder president of Diabetic Foot Society of India and founder member Forum of Medical Ethics. He is also the course director, postgraduate certification course in Diabetic Foot Management, Amritya Vishwa Vidya Peet, Kochi. He is also the faculty member for the World Diabetes Foundation Step by Step Project, which has trained 200 persons across India in Diabetic Foot Management. Thank you, Dr. Arun, for this interview. Hello. So, is it possible to prevent diabetes if one is in the pre-diabetic stage? It's uh, possible to prevent diabetes because, see, diabetes is a lifestyle disease. So, if you detect, uh, you are regularly checking your blood sugar and you find your HbA1c is just around 6 or it's just crossing 6, that's a pre-diabetic. You can easily uh, prevent its progression for pretty long time if you change your lifestyle if you maintain diet, regular exercise, and uh, you can remain in a pre-diabetic stage for a pretty long time. So, how to get an early response in diabetic foot management and which dressing material should be used to, as an alternative to whack therapy? See, the basic principles of wound care are that you have to keep the wound environment moist. And what WAC does is the same, it does with the technology. But if you use any material which is affordable, accessible, available, which keeps the wound environment moist, uh, it will heal the wound. The commonest thing which are available are various types of gels. And, you know, cheapest gel available in Indian market for 11 rupees per tube is a metronidazole gel. So, it, it's a water-based gel. So, it, if you use that, the wound environment remains moist that itself star starts the wound from healing by a process what is known as autolytic debridement. So, there is a high incidence of diabetic uh, patients having amputation. So, what are the barriers for uh, diabetic foot management in India? The, one of the major barriers is a lack of input about diabetic foot into the undergraduate and postgraduate education. So, a person may be a surgeon with a MS degree, but he has very little input because this is a comparatively a new subspeciality developed over probably one and a half decade. Unfortunately, as the medical curriculum goes in India, these things are not included in that. So, every surgeon who, you know, does the postgraduate in surgery need, will not know about this. So, I think as of today, every surgeon who is practicing in the private, almost 30 percent of his patients are diabetic foot patients. So, he need to upgrade that. From that point of view, we are trying to break down this barrier by starting various courses for surgeons and physicians in training about modern management of diabetic foot. So, Dr. Arun, which sampling technique should be used uh, or can be best suitable to identify pathogens present in infected diabetic foot wounds? See, usually uh, when you are talking of bacteriological evaluation, you need to have a tissue samples, not the swabs. Swabs are outdated and they are not used anywhere. But unfortunately, again, same barrier applies because this is not something which is taught in the medical colleges for graduate and postgraduate doctors. So, you need to have a deep tissue samples which gives you a correct idea of bacteriological flora. So, you can treat that infection aggressively. So, what factors are crucial for a successful introduction of telemedicine in diabetic foot care? Telemedicine already exists in India, where I am working as a consultant and visiting professor in Amruta Institute has a very robust telemedicine department where we regularly uh, give advice to the patients from, you know, distant part like Andaman, Nicobar, Lakshadweep, Leh. So, that's the one institute, but there are many institutes in southern India which have a good telemedicine. Telemedicine is something which can train the people also. 
like doc flux has a this program of certification but that this needs to be widely uh, popularized and widely used then only one can have this sort of a reduction in higher level amputation so dr aron as you already mentioned about the chelaram diabetic foot management course and you are associated to doctlexus to this course so what is your message to our community of doctors no i think every doctor who sees diabetic foot patient whether it is a physician or a surgeon or you know even nursing staff can undergo this course and complete this course so they know the basics of that which will ultimately help their patients and also improve the outcome of their patients thank you so much dr arun for this interview and for sharing your valuable knowledge and time with our members at doctlex thank you thank you to stay updated on our latest scale videos and interviews please follow us on twitter like us on our facebook page and subscribe to our youtube channel happy doctlexing